guys down here. Hi, good morning, friends. Um, I just did my little um, skincare face massage routine, and I'm about to put together Hugo's lunch for school. He has six days of school left, which is bananas, and um, the countdown is on. Oh my gosh, and my battery light is flashing. So, let me take the battery out, let me give it a charge, a good old charge, put um, Hugo's stuff together, drink the rest of my coffee. All right, friends, good morning. It's 9.37. Um, we are back from dropping Hugo off at school. Hugo, Hugo. I get Hugo and Theodore's names mixed up so much. Theodore took a little catnap in the car on the way there and back. Um, so I'm not gonna try to get him down for a nap today. But um, today's Thursday. Wherever the day's been going, I'm not quite sure. Um, today's Thursday and we've got, we've got a normal regular day going on today. I don't think I don't know, I'm so undecided about like what we're gonna do when Hugo gets out of school today, but I think it's probably gonna be a chill day. We'll probably just come home uh, and hang out. Anyway, I've not eaten breakfast yet, which is my custom. You want some more milk? Theo wants some more milk, so I'll be right back. All right, washing my hands. I don't know why there's no lights on. Alright, feeling so broody. I'm just putting that out there because it's <laughs> feels so intense. I feel so broody and it doesn't help that my children are so freaking cute. <laughs> anyway, uh do, 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 do. we've eaten it's ten oh eight, which is nice. We have like over an hour. Should I do y'all help me out? Should I do laundry? Should I do laundry or I did the dishes. I guess laundry is the only thing left. All right, let's do laundry. I'm convinced that my laundry basket is just small because this looks like I haven't done laundry in weeks, but I have. I did laundry like a few days ago. And here's the other thing. For the most part, we throw everyone's laundry in this one basket. So this is laundry for four people, which let me just say, for four people, you know, like that's, it's pretty good, but it tricks my brain to thinking that like I've somehow been neglecting laundry when in fact I have not. Also, anybody else see bulk items? First of all, anybody else leave bulk items in? You okay, honey? Leave bulk items in their like hallway or wherever for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks without like putting them away? Only me? This gives me so much peace of mind when I have like new-ish bulk packages of paper towels and toilet paper. I think it's a consequence of living through 2020, but here we are. I feel, I'm feeling good. Now what would be an ultimate dream in a new house would be a dedicated laundry room. Oh, that way we could stop having to hang all of our clothes on our bed to dry. Although I will say it is pretty nifty that we do have this bed because it has so many places to hang things. Um, we can hang things and we do we hang them above the um, we have like a rack right above the laundry machine I'm doing laundry. That's why I Got laundry on the brain but that gets full pretty quickly and then we have some things that we um, Don't want to hang that we want to just lay out to dry and all of that happens in our bedroom <laughs> Like there's so much happening in our bedroom so much I'm quite impressed with how how much we're able to cram into the space we've got a gym we've got an office we've got a bed we've got a nursery we've got a laundry room <laughs> we've got a storage unit that also doubles as our closet um but it would be so freaking nice to have a dedicated laundry room that's all just putting it out into the universe uh, Theo's watching a little bit of Mickey Mouse Funhouse. I have you balancing on the diaper genie. Um, I desperately need to go through Theodore's drawers and like figure some stuff out because I have these like two random piles, one here and one in the closet of clothes for him. But you know, it's funny. I think I mentioned this in another vlog how differently like 
some things that we use constantly for Hugo, like we just don't use for Theodore. And I think it's like a personality thing for Theodore, but I also think it's just like how we parent now. Um, you know, seasoned veterans. Hugo wore onesies, like button bodysuits, until he grew out of them, like until he wasn't 2T and we couldn't use them anymore. But I just find like one Theodore, <laughs> I, I put on like a little onesie on him the other day and it just, it like he's not that he's very on the go like i don't know it just didn't fit the vibe and um he's definitely more of like a t-shirt and shorts kind of kid and i just find t-shirt and shorts for this age to be so 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 much easier so it's like why am i hanging on to these you know like this is 24 a month we're not going to use it so i'm thinking i'm going to put that aside and then this is a t-shirt. This is a 12 month t-shirt, but I think this will still fit him. It's kind of ratty, but that's okay. Um, and then, you know, it's like stuff like this again, like 24 month long sleeve. Like even as we get to the colder months again, I mean, she says in a sweatshirt in June, like it's still chilly out. But um, as we get to those chillier months later in the year, I still don't think like this will be the first thing I grab. I think I'll get him like, you know, so he'll have some long sleeve shirts. And again, it's just, I just find it to be easier. Again, another short sleeve. So I'm gonna like, I think I should make the definitive decision on these things versus just like hanging on to them. Um, and that way we just don't have like these little clothing piles everywhere. And if we're not gonna use them, we're not gonna use them. Speak of the, speak of the little guy. <laughs> Hi, are you cheesing? Are you say cheese? Cheese. Theo, to Bye. infinity and beyond. Fish. Who's that? Fish. Who's that? Fish. Oh, the Avengers? Yeah, we have Hulk, Iron Man, Black Panther, Captain America, Scarlet Witch. Hi. I love you so much. Mama. Mama. The amount of times you get the like under the chin angle from me, like you are so welcome. I'm feeling pretty good. It's 1045. We'll leave in like 15 minutes to get Hugo, but I did go through both of the piles and took all this stuff out of Theodore's like little closet section, um, hanging stuff. All this stuff is 12 month and uh, yeah, I mean, I like my whole thing is I don't like to be so strict and adhere so much to like sizes and like only keeping one size out because like some some clothes last longer than others and like some brands their 12 month is more like an 18 month or 24 month and vice versa, you know, so it's like um um I want to be able to get the most wear, really for me it's like getting the most wear out of every piece that we have to a certain extent um, and just like making sure that I have stuff that like actually fits him but these things he's definitely outgrown and now that we're at the beginning of summer um, with some warmer months ahead these are all sweaters and like and he's got plenty of other like 18 month 24 month sweaters in the closet so I think it'll be good to pack these away I'm making it right now we just got home from picking up Hugo and Hugo really 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 want to go to the museum so reluctantly because i'm tired I'm gonna take the boys just bought some tickets we're gonna go and you know what i'll be honest like being a mom so much of the time is just choosing between like what's gonna make you more tired you know and taking the boys places actually means in the long run I will be less tired because they're busy. They're busy, they're having fun, they're playing, and like obviously that's all great. And like I want them to always be like learning and playing and not just bored at home. But selfishly, selfishly, it means that when they're busy and playing and having fun, it's like less work for me, you know? They're like someone else's house making a mess. This is how my toddler tells me that he's done with his meals. He throws everything off onto the floor. 
Anything else to eat? No? Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe they're coming. What do you think? Maybe you have to jump on that over there. Oh, one second left. You press the button. Hugo's making a ladybug. It looks beautiful. Mm. And Theo's making a butterfly. Mm. Hi, we're home. It's um, almost 3.45 and um, the museum was a lot of fun. On the way home, we drove through a few patches of rain. It's like so, so, so dark and stormy out right now. But we're inside, we're dry. The boys are watching Toy Story and having a snack. Um, they did fall asleep on the way home. Just, just like say a prayer for me for later for bedtime. Um, I'm hoping that they'll go down with no issues. But the plan is I'm going to make myself something to eat because I'm starving. I just realized like I didn't really eat much today. So I'm going to have some avocado toast. And then um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to give Theo a bath. I could wait until like after dinner and give them both a bath. Which is still an option. But I just find it easier to like bathe one at a time. You know. If you know, you know. Especially since Theodore is like still little and doesn't understand that like he can't just like run around in the bathtub. Um, and yeah, that's it. It's like, can't believe it's almost four o'clock. Um, this was like, so not the plan for today, but I'm so glad that I got a lot of like the laundry and like putting stuff away down while he goes in school. Um, because I don't feel like quite as like chaotic in my brain about the housework. Um, and was able to get the dishes done this morning too. That was great. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to make myself some toast now because I am starving sorry i did not finish the vlog out yesterday it's the next day it's the morning i realized like last night that i didn't finish out the vlog um but the rest of the day was good and then jeff came home and just like that the day was over so um it's, it's the next day like i just said i just put on my lotion um anyone else's hair just like cling to your face after you've put on face lotion or just me that's it <laughs> I'm gonna finish this vlog out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna vlog today too. So uh, the next vlog you see will be a continuation of today. Love you all so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.